In this quick video, I'm going to detail and show you how to convert data, even a CSV file such as shown over here, how to convert the data in that has X and Y coordinates into points on your map. I've already done Smelter Data 2, but I will show you with Smelter Data how to do that. Right click, I want to display X and Y data. This field pops up, or this window. The X field, I'm going to choose longitude. For the Y, I'm going to choose latitude. I then must edit the coordinate system and select. We know that is geographic and Harn. So I will go to geographic and NAD 1983 Harn. I'll click add and then say OK. I'll say OK one more time. Notice that there is no Z field. We're not using a Z field. I click OK. I get a warning. Table does not have an object ID field. This is OK. We'll fix this in a moment. Click OK again and the data is added to my map. I will turn on the other Smelta data. This is the other layer that I had done previously. So notice there's a 1 minute and 30 second way to add X and Y data to your map. The procedure we just completed, display XY data, creates, as you can see, an event layer in ArcMap, which is here and here. These event layers can be made permanent features by exporting it. And we've done this before, so I will export these features. Data, export data, and it works very similar to the other exports that we've done. Notice I have to go to my correct geodatabase. and within the feature data set. Since this is smelter data without the number in it, this will be called sample one, and that means sample the soil samples. I click save and OK. And it exports and it adds to my map. Complete this process for the smelter data 2, calling it sample 2. By putting them in the feature data set, that also makes sure, makes sure that they're using the correct coordinate system and projection. We mu you must make sure to do this step because if, if you don't do it, uh, there will be problems later in the, in the lab. At this point, I can remove all of this data from my map. And the samples are still there. And that is how you add XY data and turn it into points.